Good morning and welcome to our live today. So it's the first of the month. There are 61 days left in the year. So it's time to review. I know, right? That's scary. 61 <laughs> days until the end of the year and actually until the end of the decade. So that is quite scary. So what we need to do on the first of the month is be a little bit proactive and we're going to take a look at our previous month. So we need to start off having a look at our monthly review, but we're not just talking financial here, we're talking about other aspects of the business as well. So we're going to be asking a few questions to get your sort of thought process thinking mm. so that you know what, what sort of things you should be asking yourself about how your performance was last yeah. month. Yeah, and it sh it's not too difficult. You don't need to go into oodles and oodles of detail. But the point really is just to spend some time and the first day of the month is the best time for doing this just to take a look back and see what went well and what didn't. Have a think about all the aspects of your business. Um, as Harry said, doesn't necessarily have to be financial, but the things that made you feel good and the things that made you really frustrated. So the first two things to look at are going to be what went well. What did you do well? What happened well in your business? What were your successes? Um, it might be a new customer. It might be that you collected a bad debt or what you thought might be a bad debt. It might be that you launched a new product um, or you took on a new employee. So what did you do in your business that you did well last month and you want to congratulate yourself about? So what went well? Then on the other end of the spectrum, what didn't go well? Mm. So maybe you had a contract which you thought would be really profitable. It didn't work out to be quite as profitable as you expected. Maybe you had a sale which turned into a bad debt. Maybe you just had some internal issues and actually you found that you were overloaded with work and yeah. that some of your internal processes fell over and you were just overloaded with admin. So think of some of the various elements which didn't go well. Um, obviously, we're looking at the highs and we're looking at the lows because we want to know how to improve yeah. them. But don't think about, you know, you don't have to worry about spending hours and hours trying to list something. You just want the quick wins, the things that come to mind and the things that you either want to then take make into an action plan. So take all of the good things that happened last month and what went well. So what do you need to do more of? What do you need to repeat or try and create a process around or try and make sure that you repeat those behaviours so those same good things happen again? Did you do something different this month that ended up in that good result that happened for you? So think about what you need to do more of in your business to get more of those results that you had last month. And then likewise, I feel like the, the pessimistic one here. But, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. One of the things that you want to do less of, maybe there's a certain type of sale that you have and you think, actually, that one's not as profitable as this one. It takes a bit of time. I don't value that one quite as much as this one because it doesn't add as much value to my business. So what would you actually say, all right, I'd like to do less of this. I'd like to do less of my, I'd like to spend less of my time on this. I'd like to spend less effort on this part because this part should be easier. This part should be more enjoyable. So I don't like this type of client because of the way that they speak to me sort of thing. So what, what sort of things yeah. are there? There's more than just the financial side. It's what sort of people do you want to be working with and how do you want to be working in your business as well? So there's lots of things to think about really. Yeah, and you can turn these into a mini action plan. So if you've got something that you want to do less of, what were you doing that made the bad thing happen that you need to then stop doing? So bad debts is a really good example. Mm. If you are not following up on um, overdue accounts or if you have an overdue account and you carry on working for those people that are not paying, the clients that aren't paying, then you'll continue to escalate that bad debt situation. So there needs to be a point in time where you or your team, if you work with other people, stop working with those. And what tends to happen in small business is perhaps your communication might not be um, as strong as you'd like it to be. So perhaps they don't know that they're not supposed to be working with that client or not taking on more work from that client. So it might be that the action is to stop working with that client and escalating that bad debt. But part of the action also needs to be to communicate to your staff to make sure that they don't carry on doing that. So start thinking about what you did that allowed that bad situation to happen or what you didn't do that allowed that bad situation to happen that you should do for next month. And it might be a quick win, it might not be. Um, and you can write it down on your actions list as what to do less of. 
Hmm. So that's the side of it which is less financial. It's more about mm-hmm. what, how the business feels for you. And you'll know based on the experiences of last month what happens, why doing it on the first of the month is so crucial. Otherwise, it gets further down the line. But well, you, you just forget about it. it. And then yeah. you get halfway <laughs> into the month and then you're, you know, you're already dealing with the next month's issues. You're not dealing with the last month's issues or the last month's successes. So quite often when we're talking to clients, you know, they did something really well two or three months ago mm. and they've almost forgotten what they did that got to that success or they did it once and then didn't repeat that process didn't repeat the actions that made it happen yeah so the first of the month is a really good time just to jot your notes down and maybe you only need to put it on a one page planner that's enough just to put that data in one place so that you've got a record of it so that you can then do something with it and the irony is most people focus on the bads because they focus on the bads they forget about the good they forget about the things that got them to the position they're in they forget about how they actually achieved this contract yeah, or yeah, what marketing they put in place which worked and they, they forget yeah. about these things because they just think of yeah. the, the, the negatives or you review your subscriptions and all of your costs once but you forget to review it again yeah. in two or three months time so it escalates so it's always about repeating the good behavior and stopping the bad behavior really quickly and putting something in place to capture that mm. then so, it's a point of looking at where the profit let's look, was yeah, let's look at the money so um Obviously, on the first of the month, you might not necessarily have all of the figures in place. No, but you but might have a gut feel. Yeah, you'll Sometimes have a feel. Sometimes it's just a gut feel. I think that actually is the case in mm. most businesses. You get, to, you get to the end of the month and you go, right, I have a feeling that last month is going to be good because of this. I have a feeling that month is going to be worse because of this. You'll have that feeling there. Mm. And then hopefully what you see is that when you actually have all of the figures up to date, that your thoughts and your gut feelings actually match up to those. Yeah. Hopefully for the good, rather than the negative thing, which I just mentioned. But it's obviously key to know exactly yeah. what's happened. But I'm a big believer in trying to understand where the profit is in your month. I mean, we're all trying to make a profit and trying to make more money, make more cash in our businesses. So take that moment. You've looked at what went well. You've looked at what didn't go well, what you need to do less of and what you need to do more of. But where was the profit? What you did you do that brought profit into your business? Maybe that's your new customer. Maybe um, that's your new product. But it could also be things like what did you do to save more time or what did you outsource? Or um, Profit doesn't always have to be financial. It could be time-based, which releases more time, which then allows you to go and sell and create the more um, mm. financial profit. We usually say it's time control and money yeah and three elements of profit i think so because with time you can obviously generate more money mm. with control you can generate more time which gener- it's, it's kind of like never ending triangle sort of thing yeah so actually so. those three elements are all elements of profit so not just the financial mm. side as lisa mentioned also look at the other side you saved yourself time here you develop more controls here so you're making less errors here there's less going wrong so there's no leakages so that's the whole concept of the three yeah. elements of profit which we're mentioning And then the final thing we need to look at, we looked at where the profit was in the business. Now, where was the loss? Mm. There's often one thing that you did, you perhaps invested in a marketing campaign or an advertising campaign that hasn't worked out the way you wanted. Perhaps you spent some money on Facebook ads and they didn't work the way you wanted. So you feel like it's lost money, it's cash badly spent. So where was your profit? And most importantly, was where was your loss? So I'm gonna just share my screen with you for a moment. And um, you can either write these things down or there's a couple of tools that we use. Um, So this is uh, a a little um, one page um, monthly review that I've created, as you can see, in Trello. So you could create something like this and have a printable that you fill in each month. Now, if you're in the Bloody Brilliant Business Club, I'll download this template and share it with you. If you're not in the club, then pop in so you can get access to this template and then you can print it and review last month's results. Now, another thing that we do, you might want to produce it and have a physical paper copy. If you don't like that, how about producing it in something like Trello? Now, we use Trello for um, probably every element (laughs) of our business, but you could have a monthly review on a page here. So you can create a template in Trello that then repeats on the first of each month. So I haven't done this one now. So this one looks like it's overdue, but it's only recently overdue. So if I went into my monthly review on a page, 
I've got six lists. What went well? What didn't go well? What to do more of? What to do less of? Where was the profit? And you can see that I need another activity for where was the loss. So I'm creating simple checklists here. And all I'm going to put in here is where was the loss and it's as simple as this oops helps if i can spell it right doesn't it simple if we can type simple if we can type but i can't type and talk at the same time <laughs> um, and i'm going to add that and that will pop into the bottom of my trello list now all we need to do each month is what went well perhaps we launched a new product Doesn't help that the speaker's in the way, the mic's in the way as well. Yeah, you need to be able to touch type. Um, <laughs> it might be that we took on a new customer. So checklists are a really good way of um, going in and just adding notes to a Trello board. Took on a new customer. Mm. Of going in and using Trello board. So the, the purpose of checklists is you can go in and tick them all off because it's an action plan. But in this case, I'm just noting what's happened. And the reason I'm noting what happened is so that next month I can review what happened last month. And, you know, two or three months in the line, maybe I've done the same thing two or three times. So I really need to take an action plan. Mm. Now, in terms of here, what to do more of, this could be my action. And this might be something that I do want to do. And again, I could have another action too. And then I can tick these off as I've done them. So use your Trello board. The, the lovely thing about Trello, and you can do a lot of this with the free um, Trello version, is that it's on your PC, it's on your tablet, it's on your phone. So if you are thinking of stuff as you go through the month, or if you're thinking of things that you need to do, you don't need to do, how well your month's going, a win you want to share with people, you can add them into your Trello board at the beginning of each month if you wanted to. Hmm. So then once this is done, you mark it as done and then it's marked as complete. So I've completed my monthly review on a page. Obviously you go into a lot more detail if you had more time, but don't spend more than five or 10 minutes on this. You just want something that's a 10 minute job at the end of each month, just to celebrate your wins, to just make a note of what you did well and what you didn't. If you have a business coach or if you have an accountant that you talk to on a monthly basis, this is the kind of thing that you should be talking to with them so that they can help you move your business forward. So we're going to share these templates with you if you're in the Bloody Brilliant Business Club. And if you're not, pop over there and pick it up. And that's it for us from today. So we will see you another day, probably Monday. Yeah. And we'll see you soon. So it's bye from us. Bye. Bye.